a big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, and a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more, including An Enthusiast, Brian D. 313, Dead Zergling, Dragon RPGM Mag, Radio Raptor, Flat Tepish 3176, and Wretch 435. You're all helping to make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Ross are here, playing some more Lagoon. Last time, we kind of shit the bed trying to beat this enemy through here. Um, after that, my computer kind of shit the bed trying to run this at full screen for some reason. Not sure why that is. I think it's just a fluke, but luckily I've gotten around that. So, you may remember that last time, this guy kicked my ass. I hit him and hit him and hit him, and I could barely do any damage at all. Well, that was when I was at level 5. You guys aren't gonna believe this, but this is a crystalless situation. Watch what happens when I try to fight him while I'm at level 6. Whammo, blammo. That's all it took. One flippin' level. And we get the fire crystal. Is that messed up or what, guys? I tell ya. So. Now that we've got ourselves a crystal. All I have to do is figure out how to equip it, which I don't think that was it. Ugh. I swear, this game doesn't make things easy to figure out. I've only got one face button left to try to equip this thing. Yeah, that didn't do it. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care. I don't even need to equip that. I don't. It's fine. Because we are in the elf field. Oh my god, we can't go back now. Oh no! The entrance of the cave was buried by the earthquake. I can't go back now. That's what I said. Well, bends the brakes. Let's... Kill some beige spiders. Hmm. They don't want to die. Good for them. So we've found ourselves in an overworld map. Cool. And every enemy it comes one step closer to getting us dead. So that's kind of tough, but that's what we've come to expect in this day and age of your dark souls and your devil may cries. You know, where you have to do crazy weapon maneuvers to even have a hope of winning. Weapon maneuvers like overhead slash and Overhead Slash, and Overhead Slash. And stop and bounce the enemy off of your shield. <laughs> Thanks, Wretch, for telling me how to do that. Things would be rough if I didn't know that one. Now, if only I had more than a couple of beers left. I spent longer than I had to trying to get my, um, my recording to work. Seriously, what the hell is wrong with my computer these days? I'm a computer expert. I should be able to figure this crap out. And yet, I'm at kind of a loss. Well, it's alright. Let's explore this field. See if we find any interesting objects. Ooh, 
A big old rock. That's probably a thing. That's totally not a thing. I kinda dig this music though. Philip's Castle. Philip's Magnavox Castle. I don't suppose this is where shit started hitting the fan, is it? Um, I sense that there might be some um, points in this game where um, I'm not going to get a whole lot of help from the game itself. I'm sure that's, um, you know, very shocking, but apparently that's, that's, that's what we're looking at here. We got a fire crystal that I can't figure out how to use, and we've got a, we've got a, um, leap, a death-defying leap over some sort of bridge that will kill me instantly if I F it up. And also your standard fly flitting about can eat up my health at an alarming rate. Cool. Nobody ever pretended that this would be an easy win for me, so... We'll just, uh, keep it up. Asshole spider! What a joik! Alright. Back at the castle. It's a Phillips castle, so... You know, you gotta screw it in with a plus instead of a minus. Let's save. Yes, save. Save. Definitely save. Let's see. Now that we know what horrible things can happen, we can keep an eye out and make sure that they don't happen quite as often. Yeah! A Tablet of Hope? Holy shit, that's way better than the Tablet of Despair I was rocking. The hell does that thing do? Tablet of Hope. Um, well, it's equipped. Something is written in letters I've never seen. By the way, I hit L1 to figure it out. Or just plain L, since it's an SNES game. Last, last run, we figured that you had to hit L to use items. Very important, that. ourselves a castle. Ah, this reminds me of Rygar. I don't think I can get in there. Well, that's ass. Yep. That's all the buttons. Can't get there from here. Well, maybe I just need a key or something. That's fine. We had a whole field to explore back yonder, and... By cracky, I'll explore it. As much of it as I can before I die. Which could happen. Very easily. At any time.
still, again, the music is really cool in this area. Since I got a new microphone, I also got a new headset, and the stereo for this is really nice. I hope it's actually um, picking up on the recording. Reminds me of the old days, when my buddy Guthrie and I would play Xeno Gears using his giant wall of car speakers that he programmed to have left and right spread out all across his bedroom. Ooh, it's a town! Philip's castle is at the east side of the village. I know everything about that castle. Alright. Legend says that every thousand years, when sunlight hits the castle, it is put to sleep for one year. The three tablets with the spell which can break the sleep are scattered around this village. Well, can't I just wait a year and, like, train really hard with my sword and my magic so that when the castle opens up, I'll be worthy of... Act you know what, never mind. Unfortunately, the castle was put to sleep with our friends trapped inside. I can read the spell. According to what I've learned, one tablet is hidden on the plain, and another is in the castle site. I noticed that a man in blue had the last tablet. Great. I bet you want me to pick those up. Philip's castle is not what it used to be. I heard demons control the castle now. Yep, 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 yep. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a drink. Um, I could have sworn this was the cabin I could go in, but fuck me, I guess. It'll really help if you have the shiny ball from the weapon shop. It will speed up the recovery of HP and MP. Well, I would love to get that. Why have a log cabin in your village, in your game, if you can't go in it. Level designers. What a bunch of assholes! Oh, you must be the famous champion of the light. I have a favor to ask of you. Please save the people caught in Philip's castle. Will you? Sure, why not? What? I said yes! I said yes. Thank you. And this movable mantle to our friend Cotton Phillips Castle. Then they can come back to the village. You got the movable mantle. That's cool in theory. And I'll give you this earth staff. You can use it well, but there's some places where you can't use magic. So be careful. I look forward to your safe return. You get Earth Staff. Okay, so maybe that's how I use magic. Let's try equipping that bad boy. Um... Can I not? Uh... Wait. Magic. Staff, Earth, Crystal, Fire. Alright. Magic Fireball. Okay. So I think if I hit the right button, I'll be able to shoot fireballs. In theory. But lots of things work in theory. We shall see. Hey, you. Before the princess disappeared, a spooky-looking woman was wandering around the castle. There may be a connection between the princess's disappearance and the woman. Alright, see, that's actual useful information. Why can't everybody be like that? Hey, speak! Philip's castle used to be a beautiful castle, but Princess Felicia disappeared from the castle. Since then, the castle has been controlled by demons. I put the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllables, so... I'm sure you guys saw what it actually said. One more building. A 
I bet I can't go in this one either. I can't. Fine. Hello, you. Thor! Do you want to get into Philip's castle? About the tablets to get in the castle. I have one of them. If you want to look for the other one, I'll help you. I am Thor. We can be good friends. Alright, Thor. So, apparently it takes two tablets, and I have one. And it takes two beers, and I've already drank one. Let's open that other beer. Excellent. Any more news for me, Thor? Where could it be? Could be in my hand. I'm not sure how to use it. Oh, right, the L button. Well, whatever. Let's try to find the tablet individually. Okay. How about if I save first real quick? But seriously, I, I've got the other tablet. It, it's right here. Is there a third one? Yeah, fireball! Shit yeah! Now we're cooking. I shoot a fireball by hitting R1. Or just R, since it's an SNES game. It takes a while for the um, MP to regenerate. But by god, it's got some range. And that's what I like to see. Now where the hell did Thor take off to? It's possible that nobody knows. I'm, I'm sure that anyone who's read a walkthrough knows. Did I even go this far right last time? Seems a bit of a walk. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. I can't go up there. Neat ish. Guess I'm just gonna have to look around and see what I can find. You know what? How about I just don't even bother throwing my sword out since if I don't, I just bounce monsters right off my scaly mail. Scale mail. Because it's a fantasy game and scale mail is a thing, get it? Unless I turn slightly to the to the left. In which case, shit goes sour real quick. This ain't the best situation I've ever been in, but whatever. Alright, buddy, come on. Thor has to be around here somewhere. Well, I guess Thor doesn't have to be around here somewhere. Thor could have just pissed off and left me high and dry. There's Thor. Thor did not piss off and leave me high and dry. Good on you, buddy. Do I have to use the item? Let's use the item. That didn't work. Buttons. Look! What's a tablet doing here? You got a tablet of wish. Okay. So, let's take the tablet to the old man now. Alright. This is going to be a lot of back and forth, isn't it? I'll just bet you it is. Oh my god, I have to wait for Thor. Good thing I brought beer.
It's shitty beer, but it's beer nonetheless. Oh, you found it! Oh, the smell is... Hi, Yake, Armeria, Kamuhi. We made it, Nasir. I have something to take care of. I'm leaving now. So long. Is Thor a guy or a dude? Probably a dude with a luxurious 80s hair. You can get inside the Phillips Castle with this spell. Sweet. Do I have to equip that spell? One wonders. Maybe not. Save. Don't die again. one downside of this new microphone. You can hear me belch like an uncultured boar. I don't mean to, but the problem is I don't have a quick way of muting my mic now. With the headset, I could just hit a quick button, but now I don't have that option. Unfortunate. Let's try not to fall directly into the water. Yoink. It's hard to remember that you have a jump option in a top-down RPG. Even if it is an action RPG. May the gods hear our wish. Please wake up the door of hope from its deep sleep. Haiki Larmaria Kamui. Yep. I was kind of hoping I could get in the back door, but alas, not the case. Well, why don't we just break down the front door? Those statues should send out some red flags. Like, you know, if, if, if you're a denizen of this country, and you travel to the castle to see what your tax dollars have been paying for. And you walk in the front door and you see a decaying swamp monster statue. You would probably have some questions. But then you're like, oh, well, things are fine. Here's an eagle. Oh my god, what's wrong with your neck? That's not an eagle, that's a long-necked vulture. With dumpy little legs, just a kicking and a kicking. So that's how you can tell that something's off with this castle. Holy crap. Um... Juke! How'd he go? There he is. Um... Yeah, ha ha ha! Yeah. That was probably worth a lot of XP. Should I go down here or should I explore the rest of the floor first? Normally I'd explore the rest of the floor first. But considering what an awful piece of garbage I was at the last dungeon's navigation, we're doing things a little differently this time, aren't we? Maybe we shouldn't have. I could definitely use some more levels before things get out of hand. I love having fireballs. That's, that's the greatest. That's exactly what I needed to make myself feel like I have some agency with the combat. Not a lot, but just enough. How'd it go? Oh, you shoot fireballs too. Well, good for you, sir. I'll bear that in mind in the future. 
That dude's got a triple shot. I should learn a thing or two from him. See, if I had a triple shot, that would just make things even better. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, shit! Wow. That ripped my life directly from my body. Very quick rate. Hmm. Did I not save any sooner than this, or does the save not really do a good job of actually saving? I'm suspecting it's the latter. Is this going to be another one of those Shadows of Cairn instances where I can save anywhere, but I still have to start back at the last checkpoint despite where I saved? Because if that's the case... That's going to infuriate me pretty quickly. I guess that's par for the course, though. These things do happen. At least here's a... Here's a, um... Good opportunity to explore the... The rest of the first floor. Before heading down to the second. Let's try this again. Since I haven't actually used the spell, can I use it on this door? Nope. It was worth a shot. It absolutely was worth a shot. Alright. This time, let's start on the left side of the building. Or let's go right up the middle. Whichever. Can't kill those guys with the fireballs. Probably make an effort to remember that. But yet the bigger, cooler guys I can hit with fireballs. What's up with that? Don't seem right, does it? Seems a little bit weird. If and you ask me. I'm not hitting that guy. One pixel off, and you hemorrhage health at an alarming rate. Not that you don't normally, either. Don't mind me, I'm just barging into your house, making fun of your gross vulture statues and killing your dudes. I'm the good guy. I'm the good guy. I have righteousness on my side. Even if I don't have common courtesy when it comes to home etiquette. But who needs that? Not this little green caped duck. I feel like I'm probably getting lots of XP, though. Huh. Apparently there was a lot of stuff around here that, to look at. Raw, raw, rire ball. Hit him with the fireball. This floor turns out to be kind of huge. downside, I have worked my way into a dead end. Probably should have seen that coming, but um, I didn't because despite the fact that I know how real-world castles are laid out with rooms and courtyards and shit like that, for some reason I still try to look at things in terms of RPG castles, where when you hit a dead end, there's probably a treasure chest or a secret room or anything that you can use. And that just ain't the... That just, it doesn't happen in real life, man. Would that it did. Yeah. <laughs> 
Last night I dreamed that I fell in a box of mulch and had to spend hours pulling splinters and pieces of wood out of my skin and muscles. And some of them were so stuck in that they pulled my veins out. It was kind of horrifying. But that's because of all the... All the, um... All the, um, splinters that I got back when I was working at CNS Doors back in the day. Right after that dream, I had a dream that there were forklifts all around me. Pulling in pallets of rails and styles and things. And every time one of the forklifts came by, they were stacked too high and they caught on the ceiling beams and they dropped all of the pallets they were carrying and they crashed to the ground and they were killing people and burying everyone left and right and I was trying to dodge them and the only place I had left to go after a while was into a glue machine where the only way I could get through was if I just jumped through and crushed all of my bones but I wasn't going to do it but 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 the forklift drivers they just kept going because they didn't even care because they got paid no matter what they did and they were doing donuts and laughing and there were lifts that were crushing people and I kept trying to wake up but every time I tried to wake up I would wake up for like two seconds but I would have sleep paralysis and I'd fall back asleep and it kept going for hours and hours. I may have a slight case of PTSD from a particularly shitty job I had in the past. Seriously, every time I hear a forklift honk I have a little tiny panic. But, that was the brakes, I guess. Well, apparently the first time I came into this area, I went the right way. So, I should have just kept doing that. Oh, well, I'm kind of glad I explored after all. Gold armor? Hell yeah. I did not expect to get some new armor, but here we are. That is a defense up. Hot damn. And it even changes my sprite? I am 100% down with that. Now, if I could just get to the point where I could kill these enemies. Stop hiding. Or keep hiding. I don't care. I'm not your mommy. But it looks like we're doing pretty good now, so we've actually come pretty far now, so I'm going to stop here after that embarrassing personal story, and next time we will continue with this dungeon. So until then, thank you all very much for watching, I really appreciate it. This has been your old pal Rosser. Take a drink. <laughs>